What's up everybody? Well, I got another Alienware M18 with a 7900M gameplay video for you guys today. And today we're going to do 1440p Oh, Final Fantasy 16. Where he did 1080p and it ran pretty damn good. Although natively it still dropped under 60 on high, even at 1080p. So that's crazy. Now, hopefully we'll still be able to get some pretty playable FPS at 1440. And I'm kind of glad that Windows died last night on this thing and made me reinstall it because it seems to run indefinitely better just with fresh windows with like nothing on it. Just only AM Alienware thing on it or Dell thing if you want to call it that is the Alienware command center. Other than that, there's nothing else from them on here anymore. It seems to be running a lot better. Hopefully it'll run even better and smoother and maybe not even have any frame time skips at 1440. That'd be cool, but I think the game just kind of has them here and there. But at least they're way better than they were for the demo. The demo on some of my pieces was borderline unplayable. I just would have been like, nope, I can't deal with all that. It was like almost Castillo protocol bad. And I was gonna see it, I was gonna be like, look, see, that's what gives PC gaming a bad name, that right there. But now it seems to be much better. But hey, let's stop blabbing about it and let's go show you. So here's 1440p settings we're gonna start off with. We're gonna start off just on high with no FSR or anything like that. And then we'll do what we did last time. We'll do high and medium without FSR, and then we'll do FSR. So, with that, let's go ahead and get ourselves into the game. Well, here we are, just 1440p native, no help from any upscalers, and we're still dropping into the 40s with this guy, too. And I don't think it's the recording doing that. That's just what happens in certain spots. All right, let's run out there and fight those peeps. You're not taking nobody nowhere. Not nobody not know how. Yeah, so some spots all the way down to 42, sheesh. Yeah, game's definitely not easy to run, that's for sure. Obviously, this is still more than playable, but most people that spend this much money on laptops and PCs don't really want anything under 60. But obviously, that's not it. There's still probably some people out there that still spend all that money and they all they care about is eye candy. And not frame rate at all. I'm sure there's some out there. That's why I like having the ability to use, you know, DLSS. Because half the time it looks indistinguishable. And you get a nice frame rate boost. Well, let's drop it on down to medium now. Of course, still with the face of 1440. And there we are. Let's go see if we uh, can stay above 60. I doubt it. It didn't really help that much on the ASUS G15 Advantage. I doubt it'll help too much here, but I want to try it anyway, just to be thorough. Here we go. And nope, right off the bat, right into the 40s, basically the same FPS we got. Though I don't think we dropped down to 43 this time. I think it was like, what, 47? So it definitely helped a little. But still, not gonna stay above 60 the whole time, native. It's not gonna happen. A lot of, as a lot of people say, the time of native gameplay is dead. Actually, the, the, I'm just gonna have to get used to relying on DLSS and frame gen and all that shit sucks, but that's just the way it is. I'm glad we at least can. 
and they're not just like go to be like locked down like consoles to be like nope this is how you get it and if you don't like it too bad so at least we got options still and at least this game isn't like a super stuttering mess anymore when I played the demo I was like oh boy I don't think the PC guys are gonna be happy with this this is almost like a Castillo protocol situation here and that game was basically borderline unplayable on PC when it first came out. Especially if you turned ray tracing on. Luckily they fixed that eventually, but... At least this game came out relatively decent. Maybe there's a little bit more performance in the tank from some more updates, but we'll see. Usually they can't work miracles though. There's not too many games I've played where they just all of a sudden just go, Oh hey, all of a sudden here's 30 FPS. Even on something like my Azu Shi Fit Advantage. Sometimes I might get like 8 to 10, but that's about as much as I usually see. Half the time I don't even see a, a, a difference between like the non game drivers and the game ready drivers, but still, that's not an absolute. There's definitely games where it helps, where the game will go from being an unplayable mess to actually being very playable and getting decent frame rates. He has been staggerified. And with that, we move on. All right, here we go. We are going to put on some FSR 3 now. And quality. And we'll see if we can stay above 60 then. Now this one might be able to do it. The Azu Jeepney Advantage just couldn't, even with FSR 3's help. But hey, maybe this one can. Let's stop wasting time and let's go find out. Let us see how it does with FSR 3 on quality. 70 so far in here. Oops, some 60s and 80s. Yeah, so at least in here it does. Let's see if it does during the fights though. That's the most important part. Alright, and now we do battle. <laughs> I don't know why I like flipping the mage like a pancake. Alright, now for the Dagoon. All right, let's kick his ass, and then we'll go turn on a little frame gen. All right, frame gen time. Here we go with some frame gen. Same, of course, base resolution. We're not going to change that at this point. That would invalidate the whole video, and that would be silly. So there you go, frame gen is on now, and we still got everything on high. So, let's go and see how that does now. So here we are with the frame gen now. So let's just see how it do. So far we don't have any huge ass spikes in here. So now let's go out and do battle.
気に片付ける余韻に Alright, let's go kick their ass. Man, he got me in the ass. Take that. Ha! Ah, now you're staggered. So, Alright, so let's beat him up a little bit, and then we will move along to a little camera. Alright, let's do a quick load test as we continue and get ourselves some camera for your gameplay here. Doesn't take it very long, no siree. Alright, it's doing infinitely better than it did the 1080p so far. We had way big stutters, not big stutters, we still had some stutters. This one seems to be like pretty much smooth as butter so far. I mean, it's got little stutters between scenes, which is in between 30 and yes, I wish there's. I hope there's some way I can get some mod where I can just get you know, whatever my current FPS is during these cutscenes. I don't know about you guys, but I'd rather not do that. It's not the end of the world, as long as it can hit like a constant 25 to 30 or 24 to 30, because that's kind of 24 is what movies run at. When you're not controlling it, who cares? But it just looks a little jarring to go from like, I don't even know what you're getting like, probably 50, 60 in reality. クライブ様はもう兵を。こちらは私が引き付けます。かあ。
spoil. Gone, so let's wrap this video on up. Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Final Fantasy 16 at 1440 on the Alienware M18 with a 7900 m It did a pretty good job. At negative, it couldn't hit 60. Even with FSR on quality, it couldn't quite hit 60 everywhere either. But if you put it down to balanced, it'd probably be okay. And then, obviously, if you use frame gen like I would do, because it just makes the game actually legitimately smoother feeling. So, I'm, hell yeah, I'm going to use it if it actually feels like it does something for once, you know? But still, I'm glad Windows died when it did because, hell, that gave me a perfect opportunity to make this laptop actually run halfway decently. Now, I still have to go and test and see if it still black screens for 480 hertz and all that stuff, which it probably does unless you limit it to 240, but I still want to test that and then do a video about that. But all these new games keep coming out, so I haven't had any time to do anything. I haven't even had time to play Space Marine 2. It's a shame. But that's okay. I still have fun doing these. So, that's about all I got for this video, though. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Because I sure as hell enjoy making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.